first time out at uh, Lake Lentil for 17 years, I believe. It's at maximum capacity right now after the recent floods and the water is still chocolatey. Looks like a cup of tea. But uh, a friend, uh, friend of ours is here already. They've been here for one day and they went out on the kayak this morning and got two barra on the surface around about 6.30 a.m. so that'll set the pace for the, the next three days back over here you will see the camping area I'm fortunate enough to get here on Friday and got a, a spot right on the bank so I can leave my boat in overnight damn wall is back there there's both um, Barramundi and Australian bats stocked in this dam sure about uh, Saratoga but uh, I'll find out later so uh, the barra is the target species for me and uh, bass are a bycatch but I don't mind getting a few of those as well because they're quite large in this dam apparently so um, I think it may be a good three days maybe four if, if they're going off so onward and upward we'll see how we go Oh, by the way, the speed limit on this dam is strictly six knots and uh, you have to have a four-stroke engine to get on here as well. So I, I qualify on both those points and um, I've got nothing to worry about. Plus I've got a SIPS permit, a stock impoundment permit, which allows me to fish on any freshwater dam in Queensland. So uh, Craig has uh, 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 been here since uh, yesterday and apparently this morning he was able to get two barra on the surface as I previously mentioned and it was at a place very very similar to this. It's a point, shallow, new flooded water, barra are uh, apparently hitting on the surface and you'll see up close we're currently in about 1.7 feet of water, very very shallow. But barra do venture up into the shallow regions and they whack surface lures. So uh, that's what we're hoping. The barramundi in this dam uh, uh, reportedly are up above a metre now, some, uh, some of them. Uh, but I don't like to hold my breath because the recent rains, the dam wall went over by one metre. So that generally washes the big fellas downstream. But this is the sort of country that uh, we're looking at. This is a point and it's full of weed and um, uh, growing weed, by the way, it's still alive. Uh, later on, it, it'll probably turn to slush, that it'll die off out in the deeper water and, um, and become problematic for throwing lures in there uh, because you, they, they block up your lure trebles all the time and it's a, it's a pain in the ass. But this is the sort of country we're looking at. I'm liking it already. All of this is really nice country. This is just a, a little bit further down from the point. This is straight bank. However, we're sitting in around about, uh, what are we up to? About three foot of water here. So it gradually goes shallower and shallower the closer to the bank. And um, there's lots of cover here for Barra to ambush a lure or soft plastic. And that's what I'm going to have a target at uh, first up, as I previously said. But uh, first thing in the morning and, and late, late uh, last thing in the afternoon is the go. Beautiful country. I'm currently investigating a, a bay. Um, this is a fairly big bay for lentils. There's a lot of water to play in here. And out, out in the middle of the bay, there's uh, shallow water. Um, it's around about three foot in the middle, but I'm currently sitting in about five foot six or six foot of water. And, and you, you still may be able to pick up that there's uh, green uh, grass growing uh, out of the shallow areas, right in the middle of the bay. So this is a perfect hiding spot for bass and barra. This dam shows a lot of potential. Uh, the water is chocolate coloured, but uh, Craig reckons that he got two barra on the surface this morning, so that's not going to put me off. Generally, I like clear water to fish in, but uh, uh, yeah, this water's chocolate. I'll try and get a bit of you down close. Right in the middle of the bay, shallow water. Perfect. 
I've decided to give a, a bit of a flick. I've got a soft plastic on now. I'm going to go into the shallow water, into the bank, and um, I'll just try it probably the wrong time of the day. It's only 20 past one here. It's in the heat of the day. But um, I found a place out of the wind. There's a little bit of wind, probably about five, six knots blowing out, out on the main part, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna t toss this lure, which is a Z-Man. It's an indestructible plastic. Pretty good for barramundi. Can't break. So we're gonna go in close to the bank over here and chuck it in amongst the grass. right in amongst the grass which is good. This is a weedless lure, it means I can chuck it right in there and it won't get hooked up with all the, the weed and the floating hyacinths, and not hyacinths, the lily pads. I'm just retrieving this about six inches under the surface of the water, just hopping it through. I can see little avenues where I can pull the lure through. Once again, I can feel the weed. It's almost sunset on Lenthal's Dam. What a beautiful place. No fish yet, drop the bass, but no barra, no big prize. But I'm happy to be here at this summer day. There's no wind and it's almost barra about bite time.
this is really a, a nice time of the day, night, dusk. This is Lenthor's Dam, and um, at its best, just minus the fish at this point. <laughs> we'll keep on trying. <laughs> Come on. I think it's a barra. Well hooked. He's not going to get away this one. Okay. At last. Whew. Here he comes. Not real big, but it's my only one. Go and 
get him on the shallow side. measure him up and throw him back in. Whew, that was good at last. That's, that's a 70 centimetre, which is not too bad. So Lenthal's Dam does have barramundi in it left over after the floods. Barramundi. 70 centimetres, how's that sound? <laughs> awesome. Okay, he's going back in the water. I'll just revive him. <laughs> Hopefully he'll just swim away. Yeah. Sweet ass. Goodbye. There he goes. Oh. Successfully released. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, there's more in this area. I've already had two hits, but they didn't hook up. That last one did. Awesome. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so the ladies are going for a paddle out in the dam. The, for, the cameraman will be here just in case you fall oh, in. Oh, yeah, that'll be right. Should I do it on purpose? <laughs> do you want to win money on funny as home videos, do I you? I will. There. I'll make it a good one, though. <laughs> you can scream a little bit on the way in. Oh, shit. There you go. Did you get it, that one? I can't use it now because sw she swore. Oh, there you go. Happy landings. When you, when you get out to release that cord for the rudder. Mix her up. Au revoir. Thanks, Craig. You know what? You're going to be uncomfortable. You're sitting on my, um, on the, uh, lifeboat. Well, yeah. Okay. So put them in there. They'll okay. clip in once they go in. Oh, yep. Yeah, got it. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I have to, to set it if, if your legs. Too far. Too far, so you just push the button down and move it towards you. Move it back to look like one or something. Yeah, I. Are you going to go backwards all the way? <laughs> uh, well, Craig's nailed another one. He's come on to show us. Yeah, you'll have to come in nice and close, mate. There's no zoom on these. Gone, gone. Well done. I know they're in here. Around that bend, yeah. it goes from 1.2 to about 6 six meters. Okay. And I got there, you know that smash that was here? Yeah. Yeah. I went around the corner. Yeah. Boof, on, off. I was actually past it. Yeah. That's I, I threw again in a different area. Boom, on, off. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah. So I went down to the trees. Yes. And then I came back, put it again, boom, and I managed to pin this one. This yeah. One. But I got him in my net, and I, I was looking for you guys to help me. I couldn't get him out the net because he had gone oh. in the net, nose first, and the hooks were hooked in the oh, net. Oh, no. Nah. to bloody get the damn Yeah, out. yeah, it happens. I don't know if you heard me whistling for you. No, no. Looks like we've seen the end of that storm. You know, it's, I don't know whether it's co coincidental, but when that storm came over, that's when you hooked up, probably. Not, not that storm, the, the, yeah. the, the small cell. 
Anyway, well done. Oh, what a mission. Look at my hooks now. Bugging. <laughs> Secret boat ramp. What'll we call it? Well, Land Falls. No, we called it Secret Ramp. Top Secret Ramp. We have it in GPS and we're not telling anybody where it is. What a lovely area though. It's really peaceful here in the Arvo. This is this is what we found. We found a whole it's a tribute it's it's a it's the main river that feeds lentils, we think. No, this is okay. This is this is just going to YouTube. Only a couple of thousand people on that. There's the entrance out there that we're pointing at. And it just goes on and on and it goes upstream. I don't think too many people get up here. I haven't seen anybody near it. End of day two. And this is what we were greeted with when we got back to camp. Very cool. I don't play those things. Cards. I ain't got the It started raining here at Lentils and um, it doesn't look too good. There's some clouds coming over from the east and a storm just passed by, rain just passed by about an hour ago. It's pretty black out there. But I'm gonna go over and give a, a, a morning session, maybe for an hour or two. Pack up and head, head for home because the weather's turned a little bit nasty. I hate rain.